Hi everyone, Andy Davis here again for Master of Voice, a channel with reactions to performers from across the world. In this episode, another Dimash reaction as we continue on with his Bastel concert back in 2017. This is part two of that concert provided by Dimash Info Station, who has lots of closed caption translations on there, so I'm very thankful to them. This is another three song part of the set, and it includes two of his new releases at the time. We start with Who Will She Be? Then we move to Unforgettable Day, his original composition that was so well received on the Singer series. I can't wait to hear it. And then also Wonderful Memories, which was one of his 2017 releases. So let's jump right in. I am very eager to continue on with this concert. I love piano. the aerial performer with him, and such beautiful lyrics to this song already. We're back to ballad style Dimash, and I really enjoy that. He was working right there nicely, very relaxed in his chest voice, but then the nice transition through his passaggio, or what is known as the passage, or sometimes called your break. It is just a section of notes within every singer's voice where we have to switch from being predominantly chest voice focused to moving up into our head voice quality. And sometimes there's a mixed sound there. And he just transcended through that passaggio very well in that as he moved into the verse there and through the verse. I really enjoyed that. And I love aerial performers, so his ballad and this performer, this is super cool. Nice head voice, as always. Nice B section there, building up dynamically.
such control. He displayed such control in this number. In his mid chest voice range, on up, just a bit of a mixed sound and then flipping into a lovely, nicely supported head voice. This was a beautiful song, and so the fact that it's leading into Unforgettable Day, I'm so excited about. Elkin Rasmet. Song Word Nagan Ikan Aptera. Hazak Sang Degamin, the Pitot Tamasha and Rizvan. Oh, Panjul Das Hawaiian. Koshimitimis. Giving credit to the composer. Sidden Kumul Zim Shot to William. With Kinna, the one that tells her. Pergion Nogans. Oh. I knew they're gonna love this. So are we, right? This is so beautiful, just as it was on the singer. He wrote the music to this when he was just 19 years old, which I realize he's still just in his early 20s in this performance, but oh my goodness. It is such a beautiful melody. The lyrics are also as beautiful, and to me, this just gets my heart going as a Dimash deer, and so I know you all are enjoying this as well. Just such nice control of his mid-chest voice here. Nice floaty head voice. I realize we're about to break out into something just a bit bigger near the end of this song, but it's just so beautiful.
love trumpet. I played trumpet in college. Love the backup singers too. staging of this performance as well with the female there beside they come together of course she falls back how wonderful what an unforgettable day I love the lyrics his melody is beautiful this is one of my favorite Dimash songs so far he did it so well in this concert and of course they loved it very well received you know when he actually relaxes a bit back into a more relaxed singing style you get his residual vibrato coming through, which is just produced from having a really nice free voice, free of any tension in the walls of the throat. And I love to hear that when that comes through from him. But I also love those big belty chest voice sounds on up into his mixed sound, big wide rock edginess there. I super enjoy that as well. Yeah. I'm excited. Wonderful memories. Fine. 
I enjoy this upbeat number here. The verse has some detached marcato notes, if you will, and that's a little bit different from him. He's a, a lot of times a legato singer, even in an upbeat number, and so these detached sounds I really enjoy from him. They're mid, they're in his mid to lower chest voice, just real easy for him. He's telling the story. I love this. Nice switch up there with the legato section. Ah. Good for him. Good for him. That's awesome. You know, he mentioned to the crowd to act like they were at a Michael Jackson concert for that number. They did a good job, but even his attire reminds me a little bit of MJ. He throws in a little dance move every now that's reminiscent of my memories of Michael Jackson. So I know that uh, he has affected Dimash's style a lot, and that's so cool to see. Dimash, this is such an excellent concert by him. I hope all you dears and the rest of you may become dears now are enjoying the reaction to this concert by style. We have several more sections to go. If you enjoyed this video, please click like, hit subscribe if you haven't already done so, and thank you to so many of you that already have. I'm excited to keep going with you all on this journey. Have a great day.